since we had a bit of robbing going on, I put a couple of boxes on and switched to internal feeders and moved to entrance reducers on the front, removing the front feed jars. The hope is that this will cut down on robbing. deep or medium, what's going to be our insulation box, and a spare empty box in which we put the two uh, bottles of feed. So we'll see how this works this week. So for some reason on the other setup, they weren't drawing sugar water from the jars. So I put the inner covers in as a spacer because I thought that it might be a physical problem that they weren't able to get between the screen and the frames. And they do seem to be enjoying the sugar water now. This one over here, we actually have two jars on for heavy feeder. Again, I put the inner cover between the screen and the frames. Interesting little noise there. They seem to be picking at the foam blocks. I'm not exactly sure what that's about yet, but you can hear it. Crazy. So hopefully, this will keep these guys happy and fed and inhibit the robbing that was occurring. So our next step is going to be a silic acid treatment on the hives. To do that treatment, a respirator is needed. The reason being that oxalic acid, when it's vaporized, is very damaging to the human respiratory system. It's also very damaging to the mites respiratory system, which is similar in that they have a trachea, so to speak. Um, bees use a different respiratory system. They, they breathe through their abdomen, so the oxalic acid vapor does not affect the bees. So. This is a silic acid, and uh, it's kind of a crystal powder. It looks almost like sugar, very different than sugar. And uh, this is what the vaporizer looks like. Um, Laura Bees is a uh, good company. Uh, a lot of people recommend them. There's a temperature gauge on the back. It runs off of AC power, which we have back in the park, and it heats up to about 400 degrees. And the acetic acid is actually put into this little silicon rubber cup, which is then put onto the vaporizer, basically like that, except you're, you're pushing it down on something because it's going to be really hot. Uh, and then this little pipe slides into the back of the hive right where the screen board is. And once it's inserted, the vaporizer is rotated. And what will happen is the crystals that are in that cup fall into the hot hot part here, and uh, it shoots the vapor into the hive. Um, the temperature on the back will drop from 400 degrees, where, it's, where it operates at, down to low 300s, and then work its way back up to 400. And when you get back up to 400, you know all the crystals are gone, and you can remove the vaporizer and move on to the next hive. Um, so tomorrow morning, we're going to do this um, pretty early. Uh, hopefully before the sun rises or rises or eh, pretty close to sunrise. We want as many bees to be in the hive as possible and we'll close the entrances and uh, we'll clean off the whiteboards, do the uh, silic acid vapor treatment uh, and wait about an hour or so and then open the hives back up. And then later in the day or the next morning, we'll check those whiteboards and see if we had any mite drop and we'll go from there. Well, I'm expecting them to be up this early.
Yeah, I'll climb up there to 400 degrees. Atlantis our mic drop looks to be about 12. Those are the mites. That's just wax debris. So we have about 12 mites that dropped on the Atlantis hive. That's not too bad. Closer look. A lot of those little black dots are just debris, but I am seeing again maybe about 12 little hive beetles struggle in there. But it's the tiny little things that are mites. When I look them under the magnifier, I can see the little legs. Again, about 12 or so dead. Probably a few more, maybe 24. Again, not everything you see on this board is a mite. Um, okay, not too bad.